Ta da! I'm back, guys, finally! From basically what seemed like the longest break from RuneScape that I've ever had that's not been forced on me. The only time that I think that I've had a longer break from this is where I've basically not had it forced and I've just left because I can't be bothered to play the game. Or, well, I don't know, you could probably say it was forced the time I got hacked. That was just kind of because. Well, they didn't force me to quit, they just really demotivated me by, like, hacking me. Uh, the first time, that was the first time I ever got hacked. But, uh, but no, I've been gone for, I really don't actually know, wait, I'll pause the video, I'll find out when my last video was, and then I'll come back and I'll see how long ago it's actually been. And I'm back. It's been one month since I last posted a video, which, I don't know, it feels like kind of longer than that, but I'm not sure, it probably is a month. Yeah, basically, I've been gone because of exams. I, I did tell some people in the, uh, in the old, like, clan chat why I was, why I was going beforehand. I think I said it in a video, but people were really worried, like, I had loads of people messaging me on uh, YouTube and stuff, they're like, oh, Macro, where have you been, where have you been, have you quit the game or something, and like, mess you know, everyone's really worried in the clan chat if you've quit, and I was like, no, 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 I've not, I've not, like, quit or anything, it's just, I, basically, I just had loads of, of exams coming up, because I mean, doing my A-levels, so I'm in, like, the first year of doing that, and it, it kind of got fairly close to exams, well, about, I say about, a, like, a month away, uh, well, about three, four weeks, and, well, before that, I was revising, it's not like I wasn't, but I wasn't doing as, as much, like, you know, a lot of people say that, you know, they revise way before, but you don't, you can't really properly, because for me, to revise properly, it has to be a bit close to the to the time, so you remember it, I'm not one of these people that can just study all year and just, re like, go to an exam and remember it all, like, I have to do the last minute kind of preparation for it, so, uh, I, it got to, like, a th about a month away, and I was thinking, okay, right, now's the time that I really need to kind of knuckle down and just get it all done so I kind of said to myself what I'll do is I'll change my password or something give it to my friend or something like that just just anything but I will not get on this game because if I get on it and I, 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 I like find a new goal so I just think oh, I'll go for this like at the time it was range and I just knew I wasn't going to do anything I wasn't going to study and I would fail my A levels and then all of that would be left with is RuneScape levels, which I think is the reason why some people play RuneScape is because it kind of um, It's an achievement and some people I don't think in life have enough goals and achievements that they can do Reasonably like realistically or you know what I mean they might not be very good in school or like lots of these people that really know live RuneScape And I honestly think it's just because they have no ambition to anything in real life This is the first thing they've kind of found that they like and they've set goals and they want to do it so yeah, I mean, I think a lot of the time if people took the motivation that they have in this game, like some people have crazy motivation and took this kind of motivation from this game and put it into real life, people would be millionaires and, you know, straight A students in like exams and stuff, so. Oh, thanks, dude. So, yeah, I've basically been thinking to myself, you know, let, let's, I just thought, you know, I'll quit for a bit get my exams done and stuff, it'll only be a month away, or whatever, get it all done, I finished my exams on the 7th of June, but then I had technical difficulties and training, which I've now started doing five, six times a week, so basically, yeah, it doesn't leave me a whole lot of time to do other stuff, because the problem is, I have to travel, literally, about 18 miles, something like that, it's quite, it's quite and bearing in mind I don't drive, I have to get a bus, Pub, like, it takes a long time to get to where I go training, so a lot of the time I go training on, oh, I go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday, uh, yeah, sometimes, on then, and then on the other days that I have off, usually, because I have a lot of equipment at home, um, that I've bought, I, I kind of, we all train together, because it's like a group of my friends that go, like, me, Tom, and Joel that go, and we'll meet up and do fitness together, go running or something, so, it takes a lot of time up, but I'm noticing a huge difference. It's like when you do something once a week, you can get all right at it, but not really that good. But say, for example, if you do it nearly every day of the week and do it for a good like two hours a day, you really start to notice a difference in it. And that could be anything. It could be even RuneScape if you're trying to do something that you're not very good at. If you just keep doing it, keep doing it, you get really good. And so that's what I've been, that's what I've kind of noticed recently since I've been doing that. 
I have really stepped up and improved. So, but it's not really demotivating me to get back on RuneScape. I still enjoy that, but it's just, if it's a toss-up between, oh, guys, do you want to go training or do you want to play RuneScape, then I'm still going to go training because it's it's got it's more um, beneficial because there's not really much I can get out of RuneScape in the long run, really. There's no money I'm going to be made in real life from it. Whereas training, I've got like a basically guaranteed job from it if I do well, because then I'll just open my own gym, which is what my gym owner wants to do anyway, where I train at, expand, and I just run that for him. Um, and also, if you've got a personal fitness instructing le qualification like level three, which is what you get from doing my courses anyway, uh, they're not to do with school; they're just what I do outside. You do, you can basically be a fitness trainer anywhere. They're quite well known, and. Yeah, so I'm training at the kickboxing place to get my kickboxing qualifications, which is it's such a K1 kickboxing, so it's kind of the Japanese version of Thai kickboxing. Um, and the only difference being that you can't elbow, I suppose. And then I do Gojuru, which is a traditional Japanese martial arts. It's it's kind of different to a lot of other karate places my friends have ever been. Like I've got Tom who comes with me to that, and because with it being traditional, it's like you do a lot of conditioning, like punching each other in the stomach, slapping each other on the chest, like the big show does. That actually really hurts in real life. We thought that like like my friend after he was like that fucking kills. I do not envy those guys that have to go and wrestle with him. That really really hurts when someone does that to you. And we have to do stuff like literally, like conditioning stuff or just like just sparring kind of bare knuckle just that kind of stuff because it is a traditional which is what I kind of like because there's no point being a kickboxer or MMA fight which is the the overall dream of, my, of what I want to do and you know I've never taken a punch it, it doesn't really you know I mean it seems kind of you're in the wrong sport so yeah I, I don't mind getting hit a few times it's pretty fun as long as nothing really gets broken but uh, but yeah so Oh, what else have I been doing, guys? The weather's getting a whole lot better. It's basically nearly summer, which is fucking awesome. So, Hawaiian shorts, you know, sand. I got a really cool pair of Birkenstock uh, kind of leather. Not They're not sandals, like flip-flops, but they're not. But, like, really expensive, like, nice. They're kind of nice. Not, like, Birkenstocks aren't that expensive, but, like, 60 quid. But they're just so... They're that kind of quality ones. Not, like, shitty plastic flip-flops that you get for free from Matalan, which I've also got when I bought some shorts, I just got them for free. They're good for when you go on holiday. But, yeah, so I've gone for the... I've switched from, the uh, you know, the old winter outfits to the summer, and I refuse to get back into winter. So even when it's, like, fairly cold, like today, I just still... I was rocking the old shorts to training. But recently, I seem to be injuring myself a lot from... Not even training, just random stuff keeps happening to me, and I keep hurting myself. Like, the other day, a door shot on the back of my heel, like a big, heavy door... Uh, and it just took all the skin off the back of my heel, like, literally, it was bleeding everywhere, and it was fucking annoying, because I can't wear shoes now, so I've had to actually wear sandals and flip-flops, because I literally cannot wear shoes, it hurts that badly, and it's just all kind of raw skin, but, and then today, I was stepping over a wall to get to training, because there's, like, a wall we have to go over, and I, and I just, the whole of, like, it wasn't brick, it was kind of, cement rock and he just scraped all up the inside of my thigh and it was not pretty really fucking stung like a bitch but uh yeah and then today I hurt my neck a bit so I I've kind of been hurting myself for no apparent reason but to do with runescape sc stuff as you know these are a lot of my levels if anyone's forgotten 99 attack uh constitution um Oh, I hate that word, constitution. I had to write a whole essay about British constitution in my politics exams. The exams I had were politics, sociology, and psychology. They, Oh, yeah, and general studies, but that doesn't really count. It's like an extra thing that you do just as like an enrichment. And it's kind of stupid. The, the, the test was surreal is the best way I can explain it. It was like when you think general studies are what was on that test, it is literally general, it was le literally general knowledge of just stuff. Like you could get a question on knowledge is power, discuss, just discuss that for 30 marks. Is that kind of thing, it's just weird. There's no way of preparing for it. It's just people that are awesome on pub quizzes are usually awesome on general studies exams. That's how it is. But yeah, back to RuneScape. Also, another thing on RuneScape that I want to point out, have the graphics changed? I want to know this. I can't really seem to find any hard evidence, but apparently some people say it has. It looks different. It looks different to me. I don't know if that's because I've not been on in ages, but it looks very different. And I'm also noticing I'm lagging a little bit, which 
may have to buy some more RAM for the old laptop. I think it might just be because my computer's not used to this videoing for a while. I haven't done it in a while. It's, it's pretty hot. I don't know. But the other day, I um I came home from my last exam. I went to my friend Kieran's house. And we built his computer, which he'd, he'd like ordered it in parts because he builds them. Cause he said it was going to be cheaper in the long run. And he was making like an ultimate gaming computer, and it, it was just beastly. It was it's got like 16 gig RAM in it. It had uh, i7 processor. Um, what other stuff did it have? It just it was just destroyed every the computer I've ever seen for like game. It was he bought spent like 100 quid on like a mouse for it that like has some kind of hydraulic kind of system in a way it way I just it was just ridiculous it it runs like any I don't really know it was a bit overkill to be honest for gaming like you're never gonna need 16 gig RAM for RuneScape or something like that but he doesn't play RuneScape he plays other games but it's pretty sweet and he used his TV he's got like a Samsung uh, 1080p screen for the for the monitor of it so it's pretty sick really um, but it did take us a while to put together because we had a problem with when we started up the the um, the CPU fan. There's a problem. It kept saying CPU fan ever error for ages, so we had to kind of sort that out. But yeah, we we chilled there for a while, and then I was uh, yeah, that was like a like, that was the best feeling I've had in a long time. You don't know how good it feels when you've got A level exams. They're the most stressful thing. I'm sure a lot of you people that are doing them will agree with me. And when that day came when you did your last one, that that. It's like the last exam, the way I was feeling is like, I don't care if I, well, I did care if I did shit. That's that's not right. But I was, even if I do shit, it'll be over, right? So even if even if I got like a U and I, and I did horribly in the exam and I knew it had gone horrible, the, the experience would be over and I could go and chill and get back on RuneScape, you know, have a chat with you guys and just, just chill out for, a, for like a couple of days because I'm back at school on the 13th, so this Monday. But or at least I won't have any exams coming up until next January. So I'm feeling good right now. But out of it, very out of it, especially on music. I logged in, I don't know what to do myself. I can't be bothered to do range at the moment. I don't know why. So the way I'm kind of approaching it is this is a game. You should play it for enjoyment. And if I'm not enjoying it, don't play it. So what I'm just going to try and do is think of a skill to train for a bit. And I'm thinking... I might do a little bit of dungeoneering, which is very, very strange because I didn't think I'd ever want to do that again. But I just fancy doing a dungeon. Or, I don't know, maybe going back to... I don't know what I want to do. I need to kind of take a kind of look at everything and see what there is to do. Um, at the moment, I'm kind of thinking I might do it just because my little thing that I'm doing at the moment to keep me busy uh, when I couldn't kind of go and escape and stuff. I've been watching all the Ultimate Fire seasons the like not the actual events but the seasons but that they have where they get the people that aren't actually UFC fighters yet and they make them into them and that's really addictive I've watched every season before but I just wanted to watch it again because you kind of learn a lot and it's also fun just to watch people like Forrest Griffin before they were famous kind of and it's just holy shit you're now amazing and people like Richard Evans and Joe Stevenson um, you know all those kind of people there's, there's, well, the first season, if I don't know if, if, if anyone even knows what I'm talking about, but the first season of UFC, um, the show, literally, half the people, I know he's, he's like, makes me laugh every time Dana White's like, there's only one, uh, there's only one contract up for, up for grabs here, guys, come on, you've got to work for this, and it's like, dude, you hand out, like, a million contracts to everyone on this first season, like, literally, everyone gets the contract, it's ridiculous, I think Stefan Bonner gets it as well, and the, they both get it, him and Forrest, uh, I don't. Apart from, I don't think the guy that was in the final with with Richard did actually. But no, no, he's season two though. But anyway, I digress. Back to this game. Yeah, no levels have really changed at all, obviously, because I'm being on. Uh, I the, my last trip I did when I was just coming out of the Chin place, I got an ancient staff, which is kind of cool. But I nearly died because I logged in and I was in there with all these kind of things attacking me, and I, I was like, oh, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, and I like clicked on my prayer and stuff. But it, it wasn't it was an enjoyable experience to nearly die. But yeah, anyway, I don't uh, this video kind of going on for a while, but it, it kind of needs to because I haven't done one in ages, so it, that's so cool. Uh, yeah, there's not really been. I'm trying to think of all the stuff because I have been. It's not like I'm not being do. I've just been really busy training, to be honest. Other than that, um, 
I can't really think of what stuff I've been doing. I've not really been playing video games at all, to be honest. I've just literally been hanging around with like friends and stuff, but not really. It's just been really fucking sad, to be honest, because of exams. It's literally just been coming home, revising, sleeping, training. But uh, what was I? I'm trying to think of any if anything funny or dramatics happened recently. Uh, oh, I went and saw some cool films as well. Saw uh, um, the what's it? Hangover three or no, Hangover two, which was pretty good. It was pretty funny. Uh, I went and saw that with Tommy. It was I thought it was like better than the first one, but I didn't expect it to be because I thought this this isn't going to be as good as the first one because we know that I know the storyline is going to be exactly the same because it even it kind of giving it away in the promos and stuff, but it actually was funnier. So, hats off to those people that made that film. And I didn't go and see Paris of the Caribbean 3 just because it got awful reviews as well. So, didn't really go and see that. What? Oh, da -da 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 -da. I can't think of anything to say that has been happening, but loads has been happening. So, I'll do this. The problem is why I'm trying to think of it now is I'll, I'll end this video and I'll think, you dick, why didn't you talk about that that happened? Or, you know, what about this awesome thing that happened? Or... I'm just trying to think if we've done anything decent. We we've done. Da, 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 da. Um, really struggling, guys. I can't, no, I'm just gonna end the video because I can't. I, I I'll like. I don't know. I'll make another video tomorrow, which is a, my last day before school. Which is fucking. I really motivation is gonna be so low for this next kind of um, five weeks because that's what I've got left till I break up. That's what you can talk about when will you guys get into summer vacation because for me it's not going to be for five weeks which is kind of bullshit because Mac uh, is off literally in a week or so a week or two which, which is like kind of bullshit because he's barely at college anyway because they have really awesome timetables and where I go to sixth form literally I'm there every day and I have a crap like five more weeks that's a shitload more weeks and the motivation is going to be so poor because we've done our exams now so there's nothing to kind of keep us motivated it's just like we've got to start doing next year's work now because they couldn't fit it in which is their problem not mine so why should I have to I don't know education guys I suppose it's important it gets you a job when you're older I just watched the Spark Mac video and somehow he's got like a a Ford Mustang like GT and I was thinking to myself how the fuck does this kid afford that? I'm sure he's only like a bit older than me and he makes money. I don't how does he get the money from that? What from YouTube? I don't know very very strange very very strange, but he's a rich ass kid. I Don't know. I don't know how he does it But yeah Anyway guys, I'm gonna get off here now and I'm gonna try and work out something to do on RuneScape because I'm really stuck Join the old the old clan chat if you want to. There's this one, or there is the other one. Shout out to Bam Pot. Shout out to Janny and Discord. Shout out to Janny because he is an awesome like guy because he stayed in my clan chat literally the whole time I was gone. The whole time, like everyone's been telling me, he's literally just there, like loyal, which is good. I'm thinking what we should do is I need more kind of ways for people to get in touch because if I want to do this YouTube thing take it seriously I could do with doing that so maybe having like make if I make like a Twitter or a, a Facebook but the thing is I don't ever want I don't want people to add my Facebook and my because that's really nerdy like I think a lot of you can understand with me here you don't even though you play RuneScape and you maybe not embarrassed of it you still wouldn't openly go out and start be like yeah everyone I play RuneScape you know everyone's subscribing to this Facebook because it's, it's it just seems a bit nerdy especially when you're 17 it's not it's not really the look you're going for so I'm just gonna be like yeah you can I'm gonna make I'll make I will actually give me comments if you want me to do that because I'm not gonna do it if it's no one's gonna chuff in go on them but I am aware that people that make them and have them linked to the videos and stuff generally do get lots more views and subscribers so that is something that I'm definitely gonna look into plus I could I'm getting quite a lot of subscribers now I'm on like 418 which is epic and I need to kinda step my game up to get more cause that's what I wanna do so I'm thinking one, th one thing I might do 
what I'm thinking of doing is getting my friend who edits videos because he, he's on a college course doing that to help me edit my videos better and maybe plan out videos more so edit them plan them out more and I have loads more maybe edits in and cool kind of transitions and kind of step up the channel a bit more getting more views more subscribers so maybe I'm what I'm going to do especially soon is make a new intro or outro whichever one and also uh, yeah like I said make the old pages for it and give kind of links to that and it, and my email address for this for this uh, RuneScape, I have actually got one, it's in the description all the time, but I don't ever check it, so if anyone's ever messaged me something, then it doesn't, I'm never really going to read, which is really bad, but it just, it got stupid because I got quite a lot of subscribers quite quickly, and it spammed up my email, so I couldn't, re I stopped reading them, but I need to kind of check those, because someone could have sent me something quite important in there, so I need to go and check that out now. Also, uh, on that kind of lines, what was I th going to think of then? It wasn't about the email, it was... D -d 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 oh yeah, famous, uh, those famous vloggers guys that do the RuneScape channel with loads of people that vlog for them. They they person personal messaged me uh, a friend request and started talking to me a bit. So I don't really know what's going on there. Maybe I will appear one day, be a video person for them. I don't really know. I'm not really going to break my ass trying to do it because I know it'll get me a lot of subscribers, but... I don't really... I, the, the, from what I've seen the channel, there's only a few people I really like on it anyway. And you know what I mean. I'm subscribed to loads of people, so I don't watch too many videos. Like I sometimes don't even watch videos of people I'm subscribed to. Like I don't know if any of you guys do that, but I do it a lot. Like there's only certain videos. Like, if I think one's too long, too short, I won't watch it. My videos are very much they're long, so watch them when you're not doing anything. It's like shaytards or something like that. You kind of catch up with my videos. That's how I kind of expect people to do, like not watch them all the second that they come out because it might be too long, but kind of wait until they've got time and then go back and watch it. But yeah, another thing, before I did this video, this is the last thing I want to say before I get off. I'm seriously going to go in a minute. But before I got on and did this video, for some reason I couldn't do it. Like I, it's taken me so many attempts because I, kept, I put the headset on and I pressed start. And I just felt really awkward, like, talking to my computer again. And it's really weird because a lot of people that don't make videos don't realise how awkward it is sitting in your room, alone, talking to yourself, trying to sound like you're having a conversation with someone and make it not seem really awkward. Because some people, believe me, they do make videos and they are very, very awkward. And I, I, I'm not saying mine are brilliant. They were a lot worse when I started. I must say that I think I have improved because I don't think I sound that awkward when I talk to the old microphone. And when Tom's here, I think they're actually, they improve more because we have a flowing conversation with each other and it, it brings out quite a lot of like funny, um, funny things get said and, and I hate that when we don't capture, that's the problem about the headset mic, we won't be able to catch those conversations as much when from when I use a condens, uh, condenser mic, but a lot of you prefer this mic and say that the audio quality is better so I will use it. We've also got the... Uh, Compilation videos like the not compilation um dual commentary ones with Tom, uh, which I'll be doing with um yeah maybe RuneScape or Minecraft or something like that like um that we'll be doing together hopefully. But yeah, that that is literally it. I'm gonna get off here now. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Like I said, join the clan chat. It's Rubicon. Uh, oh no, you won't be able to, yeah, I'll have to fucking invite you. So just add my, uh, join my other clan chat, which is Macro1. Join it, and then talk to me. And then I will come and meet you and invite you into this one. And then you'll get this sexy cape and, um, like, what is it called? It's like a Vexilum. Clan Vexilum. So yeah. See you guys, thanks for subscribing, uh, I would really appreciate if you could thumbs up this video, because everyone did my last one, it got loads of thumbs up and a lot more views, and that would be really cool, just because it takes takes you guys one second, I know a lot of people hate asking for it, but I don't think it's too much of a thing to ask for someone to click a button, just to thumbs it up, to be fair, you know what I mean, it's like people make these videos for people to watch, and if you're watching you're obviously enjoying it, so you may as well thumbs it up, it, it takes one second to do, but you don't have to I suppose, if you don't like it, thumbs it down, leave me a comment if you want, or email me, at runescapematters.co.uk but that's runescape matters with an S not a Z, the, the YouTube is with a Z the email was with an S peace out homie